What the hell? Oh, it's a splitter. Hang on. Okay, let's try this again. This time with a merger. Yeah, there we go. Build you like this. This way it's much easier to line. Okay, three, three, and three. So we're going to put the constructor here. Oh, are you serious? Get out of the way. All right. Two, three, and four. You know what, I'm just going to put four constructors on each of these, just to make things easier on me. Okay, there's four. Wait a minute. Did I do this pattern correctly? Okay, I just built an extra constructor, so never mind. All right, one more set. There's one, two, three, four. Shit. I just realized I didn't leave enough space for the splitters, I think. Uh oh. Or maybe I did. Never mind. Just barely enough space to do this. Okay, next set. And this is aligned, so we're good there. this over here. Now keep in mind, if I build steel beams, it's not going to saturate everything. It's only going to saturate steel pipes. But I'm only doing it this way just to uh, keep things consistent. And if I need to switch production over between steel, p steel beams or steel p pipes or vice versa, uh, I'll be able to do that very easily because it's pretty much the same thing. It just won't be saturated if I choose steel beams. I was gonna make sure that I power these things on. Oh, fuck. 
I thought I had this. Well, I'm not rebuilding it. Fuck that. Or, wait, I can attach the power here. So let's just do that. Okay, so never mind. We're still good. Still have room. Everything is okay. Nothing is absolutely wrong. Okay. Huh. Wait, something seems wrong here. Okay, so one. Oh, damn it. This is supposed to connect there. That's why. And I'm going to connect it like this. need lots of steel pipes so we'll just make two of these sections steel pipes and then one of these sections steel beams going on here. Oh, this needs to be connected. Okay, there we go. And then that third section down there will be steel beams. in this direction. This one goes over here, and you merge into here. Is this? Wait, never mind. That was weird. I saw the line. Oh, it's from this thing. Okay, so never mind. We'll 
Okay. So we have our steel beams. Wait a minute. This has no power. What? That's why we gotta check. Wait. Oh, really? Okay, now this is working. Steel beams, steel pipes, and steel pipes. Okay, now we need to connect this over there. And chainsaw this area, except I can't. Okay, then. I'm gonna format this like so. I'm just going to connect the conveyor belts this way. And then by doing it this way, I can just attach the mergers very cleanly. Also, by doing it this way, I'm able to, like, rearrange this so that if I want to switch something over from steel pipes to steel beams or vice versa, I can do that very easily. So, what I'm going to do is put the steel beams on the bottom. And then the steel pipes on top. There's the steel pipes, there's the, or there's steel beams, and here come the steel pipes. Okay, I'm gonna have to use explosives since I don't have any more biofuel. I'm just blowing up plants. It's not very effective use of those explosives, but whatever. Okay, get one into two and two into three. And then we'll slowly work our way up. Then two into three, and then three into four. Nice and gentle. check this area out. Okay, three and four is already taken. So we need to use five and six. Four is already five and six. Okay, 
he's so one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's going to leave us with one more spot for a resource. I mean, I can always add more conveyor poles above the hyper tubes if I really need it. I just plan to head for just seven resources. Now, do I have enough encased industrial beams for this? That is the question. Probably not. Come to think of it, I think the last one is going to be in case industrial beams. Because we are going to need a lot of it and I'm, I've had trouble like in that area over there where I'm making the in case industrial beams currently. I don't have a lot of room to work with if I remember it correctly. So that might be a bit of a problem. If I can do it out here where it's where there's a lot of open space, that that's probably going to be a lot better. Yeah, I don't think I have enough resources for this. And you know what? While I'm out here, why don't I just get that slug that's like right around here? Oh, it's right there. Alright, let's get that slug. Let's get that slug without building anything. There we go. Yeah, definitely not enough in case industrial beams. So let's just burn this up and then head back to base. Because we're right by the hyper tubes. Come on. Okay, let's go. Steel beams and steel pipes. We're about halfway there. Just need more resources. Look at all of those circuit boards. It's like just a little bit at a time. Five at a time, in fact. I probably should check the, like, the bottleneck over there. Oh, there's another slug there. Probably should pick that up. I think that's it. At least the slugs that I can see. Oh, there's another slug. Which is like right there. So we should probably pick that up on our way back. And at some point we do need to upgrade these conveyor belts. Alright, encased industrial beams over here. And I still have plenty of concrete. I want to get rid of this limestone though. And this coal.
Yet definitely lacking in the encased industrial beams. So let's head back. Oh, I probably should have checked to see the progress on our space elevator on our project assembly. I don't know, it's probably not done yet. So I guess we can check as soon as we finish this line, or at least on the way. And we do need to get through those two slugs as well. There's one right up there. And another one somewhere around there. Yeah, there it is. Those are just the slugs that I can see, so we'll pick that up. Oh yeah, check our power. What's that like? Okay, we're consuming 3200. And we're producing 3500. Okay, so we're good. Build these two. Okay, so the slug should be somewhere around here. And here it- wait, that's not the one I was thinking of. Boom. So there was another slug here that I didn't see. I guess I'll just- wait, I can't take it. Yes, I can. Never mind. I just can't take these alien carapaces. So we do need to burn through some of these in case industrial beams just so we can pick up some stuff. Oh yeah, this is the first slug that I was looking at. So that was pretty lucky. I managed to get a yellow slug. Something behind me. Or under me. Come here, you. Where are you? You want a piece of me? Come here. I hear you over there. Oh, you missed me. There's another one. Let's take this. Wait, I probably should take the other ones over there as well. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's another resource node. It is Caterium. We don't need Caterium yet. Okay, where was that cave area thing? Wait, I went past it. Like, it should be somewhere, like, in there. Somewhere. Yeah, there you are. That's one, two, and three. Alright, let's continue building now. Uh, the second slug I saw w is right there, so let's just build our way towards it.
really don't like these long range building things. There's just not enough pixels for me to hit for it to snap on. I do hope they change this in the future to make it easier to build at a distance. Are you? Did I get both of you? Yeah, it looks like it. So anyway. Gonna have to get up there. Damn it! Went too far. Let's try this again. There we go. And we got ourselves another slug. Oops. Okay, let's keep building. Am I hearing another slug or is that one of those work in progress things? I have to check this out. Wait, is this the cave? Oh, shit. Way with you. The fuck is this area? Oh, it's a Mercer Spear. Let's get out of here. That's no slug. And there is... Our space elevator. All right, so let's check in. Got 420. Nice. All right, let's just continue building this. 